Hi, my name is Bob. I'm making a video number four in Ubuntu Basics on how to swap keys around on a keyboard. Uh, the prior videos that are in YouTube are Ubuntu Basics Swap Keys 1 and that shows how using a terminal and typing in xmod map you can switch around the parentheses on your keyboard such that you do not have to use the shift keys. This is a temporary method and when you reboot the modification is gone. In video number two of swap keys in Ubuntu Basics I showed how to swap the left mouse click with any other key on your keyboard and this too is temporary. In video number three, I showed how to use the Compose key and also how to use the third level key. In this video, I'm going to show a graphical user interface program and it's called X Key Caps. Now, X Key Caps is available through the Ubuntu Software Center. When you use the Ubuntu Software Center, you just type in the name of the program, X Key Caps, and as you can see here, I've already got it loaded. The green check mark indicates that I already got it. I'm going to tap on it to get more information, and it says something here that's interesting. It says this program is run from a terminal. In other words, you can load it through the Ubuntu Software Center, but after doing so, it does not load into the menu. And that's kind of strange because in order to run the program, you'd have to open up a terminal and then type in X key caps rather than just go to the application's menu. You might forget the name of the program and forget you even have it if it's not in the menu. From time to time, I have loaded so many programs, I'm afraid that that's happened more than once. So, I'm going to show you how to put it in the menu. You go to System, Preferences, Main Menu, and I'm going to put it in applications. In, in fact, I have already put it in accessories. And it's called X key caps. And the way you do this is you type in new menu. And when you do that, you get a blank screen and you type in the name of the program and the command to run it. And then this generic icon gets put in. It's a picture of a spring. Now I've already done this and if you watch me I'll go down and there it is X key cap. If I tap on it you can see that that's all there is to it. X key caps and X key caps. If you want to you can put in another icon. Well, I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like. Let me close the Ubuntu Software Center. I'm going to Applications, Accessories, X Key Caps, and basically it's a picture of keyboard. The first thing that comes up is the selection of the keyboard and it suggests the most generic one of all. And I'll say OK. The way this thing works is, is you take any letter. I'm going to swap around the acute and a one. Right click, hold it down. The whole business is not showing here because I have got 
the whole thing uh, enlarge. Right click, exchange keys. Now it turns into a plus symbol and I'm just going to tap on the one. So now the acute and the one are swapped. I'm going to open up a text editor. I am now holding down the acute and it came out one. I am now holding down the one it came out acute. It shows you up here what is swapped. The acute and the one. If you tap here it restores the default map. If you tap here you can actually print out the output of what things are swapped. Here you can go back and pick another keyboard. And here I'm going to quit. My name is Pop. I have a whole bunch of other YouTube videos. Most of them are about Ubuntu basics. And if this has been helpful to you, I thank you very much.